Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? And this lesson we are going to study uh, lesson four. In this lesson, we are going to study the passive voice, how to change uh, active voice into passive. We are concentrating on the on the uh, on the action itself rather than the doer or the subject. For example, I play football every day. Football is played every day. So I'm concentrating on what? On the action itself. Here, uh, when you change uh, active into passive, we use uh, the correct uh, conjunction for, for, uh, for the verb to be. Okay? Uh, we have to use the correct uh, tense, plus past participle. So please open your sentence book on page number 7071. Okay? Uh, I'll get, I'd like to give you uh, an important and exciting fact about English language. Fun English fact. Do you know that English is the world's official business language? It is also the official language of the United Nations. In addition, most advances scientific, engineering, and computer-related textbooks are only printed in English. So you should study English hard to improve your language and to complete your study well in the university. Today is the 1st of March. Today is the 1st of March, and we are going to uh, learn a new educational value. The educational value for April's month is time management. Time management, you should organize your time. You should set your goals. You should think about uh, which uh, which thing is important and or more important, less important, and you should have a good plan to achieve your goals. So you should set a time limit, set goals, and uh, think carefully how to uh, make use or make use of uh, your time. So you shouldn't waste your time. Okay, let's learn some of the back in a way. The new words today, the first one, bacon away, bacon away, bacon away. It means to leave a place because you are drawn to another. Bacon away, desert, leave. It's a phrasal verb, a verb with a preposition. Bacon away. Many villagers are being baconed away from their villages to the city life. They were uh, forced to leave their villages to the city life. Category. 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 A class or division of people or things regarded as having a particular shared characteristics. Look at these books in the library. Books are kept in categories in the library. Characterize. Characterize. Characterize is the verb to describe the qualities of something or someone in a particular way. Characterize means describe. Critics characterized this cartoon as comedy. Critics describe this cartoon as comedy. Cityscape. 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 Cityscape is the visual appearance of a city or urban area, a city landscape. So cityscape means a city landscape, uh, the uh, visual appearance of the city. Do you like this place? It's in New York. The cityscape is impressive as one approaches New York from the sea. Commentator. 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 Assam Shawal is a famous commentator, a person who comments on events, especially on TV or radio. Commentator. A football commentator gives a running commentary of a game in real time, usually during a live broadcast. Court. 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 The people, especially the judge and the jury who examine evidence and side whether someone is guilty or not. So uh, the judge is a member on the court, a member of the court. Uh, the judge works in the court. 
a judge is in charge of a trial in a court and decides how a person who is guilty of a crime should be punished. He is not innocent. He is guilty. Feature. 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 Feature means a distinctive attribute or aspect of some things. There are synonyms for the word uh, features. We can say features, benefits, qualities, traits, perks, assets, merits, advantages, all these have or are the synonyms for features. The main features of this place are its beautiful mosque and buildings. The main characteristics, qualities, merits, advantages. Screen. Screen. You know the word screen is a noun, but in this lesson it's a verb. Screen means to show or broadcast. Screen means show or broadcast. A channel four will screen this animation movie this evening. It will show, it will broadcast this cartoon. Spotlight. 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 A lamp projecting a narrow beam of light. It's like uh, on a stage or a theater. Spotlight. The elite stood on the stage in the spotlight. Sprawling. Is sprawling. Is sprawling is an adjective describing a place or a building or places. Is spreading out in different directions. Sprawling means spreading out. Common. Mexico City is a sprawling city of more than 20 million inhabitants, so it's very crowded. Amicably. 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 It's an adverb ends with L-Y. Amicably. Friendly. Amicably means friendly. Kids are playing amicably with their friends. How are they playing? They are playing amicably. Friendly. Audience. 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 Look at these people. These are the audience in a theater. All the people who listen to a speech or a concert are called audience. Audience. A large audience attended the amazing concert last night. Audience. Bring up. Bring up. Bring up. Bring up is a phrasal verb. Uh, it means uh, to raise uh, children, uh, to look after uh, children. Bring up. The past brought up. Brought up. You need to be patient to bring up children. You need to be patient to raise uh, children, to look after uh, children, to educate uh, children. Producer. 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 A person responsible for the financial aspects of making a movie or a broadcast. Asubki is a famous producer. The producer will show the new film in the festival. Now, we have studied the new words today. Let's do this exercise. Fill in the space with the suitable words from the list. You've got seven words and six sentences. Uh, do this exercise in two minutes. Read silently and choose the best word that completes the sentence.
محمد ماهر هو از ا كومنتيتور اوف ذا فوتبول ماتش كومنتيتور فيري جود ثانك يو محمد مجدي كويت تي في تو شانل ويل سكرين ماي فيفورت موفيز موفي ذيس ايفنينج ثانك يو يس كريم ميني ميني شوبس ار سبراولينج ان ذا مو ان ذا مو ثانك يو يوسف عطيه many uh, un unless he shows attract attractive viewers will uh, bake away to youtube videos and social media very good yes big cities number five ahmed haider big cities are characterized by pollution and traffic jam thank you mohammed usama yes teacher Uh, the convict was bro, uh, brought to the uh, future. The convict was brought to the future? No. Thank you. Ziad. Uh, to the court. To the court. Yes, the convict was brought to the court. Thank you so much, Ziad. Okay, now you are going to do a here uh, uh, exercise to choose the correct answer uh, for, or choose the correct verb. I'm going to send you a link through the chat box. You are going to uh, do a task. Uh, choose as quickly as possible. Let's see who is the winner. Please answer all the questions quickly. Let's see who's the winner. Here, I'm going to share the link. Okay, through the chat box. And you are going to choose the correct verb that best completes the sentence. Answer fast to get more points. Nowadays, bots for many things. Choose. استاذ يس سالم حسن حاضر اوكي سالم ذا رايت انسر از ار يوزد ناو ديز بوتس ار يوزد فور ماني ثينجز ليتس جو Let's see here the winner uh, of the first race. The winner. You should write with your uh, real name so that we can know the, your re real name here. But we have different or nick nicknames here. Number one, Bill, ET Venture Tom. Okay, let's see here the next one. Answer fast to get more points. Computer games yesterday. The right answer were played. Computer games were played. Let's see the winner of the second race. Ahmed Safar, good. Jobran, Ali, Abdurrahman, Mustafa, Hamad, Taril, Shami, Hamad, good. So Ahmed Safar is number one until now. Okay, good, Ahmed. Let's move to the next point, next question here. Choose number three. Answer fast to get more points. Tennis tomorrow evening. Tennis. 
will be played. Tennis will be played. 16 students answered it correctly. Let's see the winner. Ahmed Safar Jibran, good. Ahmed Safar Jibran. Ahmed, Muhammad Ahmed, good. Ziad, good. Hatim, Kareem. Okay, let's see the last question of the race. The bedrooms every morning. Very good. Ten students are organized. The bedrooms are organized every morning. Now let's see who's the winner in the last race. Yusuf Atiyah, good Yusuf. Abdurrahman Mustafa, Yusuf Mahmoud. The winner will be Hamad. Hamad 3415. Thank you, Hamad. Okay, excellent. So here we played what? We played a game concerning concerning what? Concerning the passive voice. Okay, concerning the passive voice. Here, let's check the answers here for this question. Look at the screen here. Uh, complete the following sentence here. Nowadays, bots for many things. Mohammed Mahmoud. Stitch. Yes, Stitch. Number one. A screen. Uh, oh, nowadays, yes. but for many things. Is you is using? We are concentrate, uh, concentrating on the passive voice. Nowadays, bots. Nowadays, but for oh, massive, uh, okay. Nowadays, but for many things. Uh, Sorry, nowadays, what's the answer? Have have been was used was used for many things. Are used here nowadays. Here refers to the present symbol. We change. We use the verb to be in the present symbol is or are plus past participle. But here plural, so we use are. Okay. Next one. Number two, number two, Faris Yasser, computer games yesterday. Yesterday refers to the past. Faris. Computer games were, uh, were, uh, were played. Were played, yes. Played. Thank you. Were played. Three, tennis tomorrow evening. Here, tomorrow evening refers to the future. Let's see. Yes. You should say it. Tennis tomorrow evening uh, will be played. Will be played. Very good. Last one, number four. The bedrooms every morning. The bedrooms every morning. I choose. Every morning refers to the present symbol. Muhammad Ali. The bedrooms. Uh... Is organized every morning. Is organized or are organized? Are, are, are organized. It's a plural, Muhammad Ali. The bedrooms are organized. Okay. So our lesson today is about what is about uh, passive verbs. You can go to grammar reference uh, page 132. Okay. Now you are going to see a video or watch a video how uh, we use the passive voice even in uh, daily conversation. Uh, here you are going to watch uh, a man is going to the police station uh, reporting that his uh, someone has has stolen his bike. Watch this video in uh, a minute. Passives. Police station. My bike has been stolen. stolen. Where, 
Was it locked up? Was it locked up? Yes. yes. It was chained to a lamppost. To a lamppost. You'll need, you this need this for the, for the insurance, insurance company. company. Oh dear. Oh dear, it isn't, it isn't insured. So he uses here the passive, uh, the passive verbs in this dialogue. My bike has been stolen. Was it locked up? It was chained to a lamp post. It isn't insured. Be verb to be plus past participle tense. Here, uh, for the passive, but still the verb to be has to be the verb, and then it's the verb. Let's go see these uh, examples here on the table. Here, simple present. If the verb is in the simple present or present symbol, like the maid cleans the house, we change it into the house is cleaned by the maid. The maid cleans the houses, the houses are cleaned by maid. So present symbol, we use is or are. It depends, is it a singular or plural? And then we use past participle. Present continuous, Sarah is writing the letter. Sarah is writing some letters. The letter is being written by Sarah. Some letters are being written by Sarah. So if the tense is present continuous, we use is or are, it's a plural or singular, use being plus past participle. So with the continuous tense or the progressive tense, use being. Simple past, Sam repaired the car, Sam repaired the cars, the car was repaired by Sam, the cars were repaired by Sam. So we use uh, was or were plus past participle in the simple past. Past continuous, she was using a computer. She was using some computers. A customer, sorry, uh, a computer uh, is wrong. A computer was being used. Uh, some computers were being used. So with the continuous tense or in the past, we used was or were plus being plus past participle. Present perfect. Ali has visited the castle. Ali has visited the castles. The castle has been visited by Ali. The castles have been visited by Ali. So in the present perfect, use have or has plus be. Have with uh, plural, has with singular. Past perfect, Heidi had received a gift. Heidi had received some gifts. A gift had been received by Heidi. Some gifts had been received by Heidi. So we use had plus been plus past participle in the past perfect. What about the model verbs? Model verbs will, would, can, could, may, might, must, have to, has to, had to. We use the same model verb plus be, will be, would be, must be, have be, have to be, have must be, uh, has to be. It depends. Uh, you can change had to uh, into has to or vice versa. Uh, be going to or am is are going to. Use am is are going to be plus past participle and used to is like a model verb use used to be okay let's see some examples who can do this uh, this exercise a change into passive he washes his hands a change into passive ziad hatton make passive a change focus Is that clear, Ziad, or not? Can you see it? Ustaz Hatem Biulun Ziad Biulun and Mike Tamal. Okay. Uh, yes, Mohammed Mustafa Abdul Ghaffar. He washes uh, his hands. Hands, uh, hands, his watch. He's been watching. Here, Mohammed Mustafa, you have to define which tense is it. Wash is here. Present symbol, wash is present symbol. Uh, his hands and, uh, and are wash. Yes, his hands are washed by him. Okay, Muhammad. Oh. Two, I fixed the car. Begin with the car, Muhammad Osama. I fixed the car. Screen. Yes. I fixed the car. Uh, the car. Uh, the car. B. Uh, uh, the car uh, uh, is fixed 
by uh, by me. Uh, Osama, Muhammad Osama, you have to note here the verb fixed here. Which tense is it fixed? It's the past, past simple tense. Yes. Uh, was. Yes. Read Muhammad. Say it again. The car was fixed by me. Very good. Okay. Three. Yes, Muhammad Majdi. She is doing the dishes. Muhammad Majdi. Uh, the dishes, uh, the dishes uh, uh, are, do, uh, are, being do, uh, are being done uh, by uh, she. By, by she? By her. By her. By by Excellent, Muhammad. Thank you so much. The dishes are being done by her. Last one. I have read that book. Abdurrahman Mustafa. I have read that book. Change into passive. Ah, sir. Okay, wait. I have read the books. The book was that book. That book. That that book was was written by me. No, Abdullah Khalil. That book have been read by me. Abdullah Khalil, that book have or has? Uh, has, has, sorry. That book has been read by me. Yiba Abdurrahman Mustafa, Abdurrahman Mustafa, Ladin to had the Zaman al Fal, Ladin to had the Zaman al Fal, I should start them verb to be Hasab al Zaman. My fashion will was a lawyer for a Makan, Ladin to start the Zaman Munasim. Okay? Yiba Ladin to start verb to be Hasab Zaman al Fal. Now you are going to have. A very exciting quiz, a very exciting competition. Be ready. I'm going to send you a link. You are going to press on the link and sign with your Microsoft Teams account so that you can see your real name. You are not going to use a nickname. It's better to use uh, your Microsoft Teams account. OK, please be ready. It's very exciting. You are going to uh, choose the best answer from one, two, three, four. Uh, here you are going to change. You are going to change uh, sentences from active into passive, and you have to choose which is the right answer. Okay, so you are not going to write. You are just going to uh, choose, but quickly as possible, so that you can get more points. You will be the winner in the race. Okay, ready? I'm going to send you another link. And another another website. Be ready. Sign with your sign with your what was your Microsoft Teams account. Just to press on sign with Microsoft. No players are currently. Yes, we have here Muhammad Ahmad, Good Hamad, Muhammad Majdi, Ahmad Haydar. Ready? Are you ready, Faris? Ahmad Maher? When you are ready, I'm going to press start. Okay. Good, Muhammad Ali. Zala Khalil, good, ready. Good, Jibran. Muaz, good. Nasser. Ashkanani, good, go on, ready. Steady, go. Here we have the names. And we have the option.
One minute. زي ما شايفين هنا الاسئله هو الصح والاسئله خطا انت ممكن تشوفها وتعرف الخطا اللي عندك في كل سؤال ليه خطا ده اوكي شايف هنا كم واحد جاوب على السؤال الاول كم واحد جاب على السؤال الثاني الى الاخطاء الموجوده عندك خد بالك من تصحيح الزمن خد بالك من الفعل الصحيح اوكي ما باك تو اور ليسون از ات فيري انتريستنج محمد اوكي باك تو اور ليسون سو Here we are, it's very important to use the correct uh, tense when we uh, change into uh, fro, uh, into passive from active. So look at these examples here. Uh, listen to a newspaper article about the Gulf Film Festival. This is these things were extracted from the recording. Here read the sentence and underline the passive verb. Underline the passive verb. Who can read and underline the passive verb? What is the verb here? Where is the passive verb? For example, a five-day film festival was held by various prominent Arab filmmakers between 13 and 18th April 2008. Where is the underline? Uh, where is the passive verb? The passive verb was held. Was held. This passive verb. Okay. Let's see. Mohammed Maher. B. Sit. Uh, what is uh, the verb screen. here? Was the verb, please. Was screen. Where screen? Was Very screen. good. Yes, Muhammad Majdi. C. Um, are characterized. Very good, Karim. Uh, they are. 
no verb. The no verb, verb, Karim. The passive uh, verb. Uh, 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 are being, are being. Uh, are being beckoned. Are being beckoned away. Okay, Muhammad Ahmed. Uh, it's conveyed. Very good, Muhammad. Omar Benhawi. Uh, uh, has been uh, uh, has been proven. Very good. So you, know, you have underlined you have underlined the passive verbs. Now the next exercise here. Uh, what tenses are the passive verbs in extract one? Are they in the present symbol, present continuous, past symbol, or present perfect? So was held was held. It's 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 passive past symbol past symbol passive. Okay, were screened. Yes, Abdurrahman Mustafa, were screened. Bust the cell. Uh, Bust the cell. Very good. Are characterized. Uh, present symbol. Good. Is conveyed. Faris Yasser. Uh, present continuous passive. I'm sorry. Are being beckoned. Yes. Present perfect. Are being present beckoned. Continuous. Present continuous yes. passive. Very good. Yes. Is conveyed. Yes, Matthaya. Yes, Matthaya. Is conveyed. Speak up. Yes, Sayyid. Uh, is conveyed the uh, uh, present symbol. Has been proven. Muaz, Hamad. Uh, present perfect. Present perfect. Okay, okay, excellent. Here, exercise number three. What is the main reason for using a passive rather than an active verb? As in, I have a lot of things that we can do active. Compare these two sentences. Keyhole surgery saves many lives. Many lives are saved by keyhole surgery. Here, why doesn't the speaker say who or what does the action in the remaining sentence here? Here, uh, it is not important, or he doesn't know, or it is obvious. Does he know, or he doesn't know the, the doer or the subject who does the action? Of course, doctors here. Doctors, uh, doctors uh, save uh, doctors save many lives using K-hole surgery. Here it is not important, or he doesn't know. Or it is it is obvious. Abdullah Khalil. Yes, teacher. The right answer. It is obvious here uh, in the sentence. In the uh, in the sentence one f one to a f. Do we know who or what does the action? Of course, we know who. Who does the action here? By various prominent Arab, Arab filmmakers here by commentators. This is a door. Their films were screened, so it's obvious we can use the passive voice when it's obvious or when it is uh, not important to know who does the action or when we don't know. My car was stolen. I don't know who does the action. I don't know who, who stole my car. I said my car was stolen. OK. Next exercise, exercise number four. You are going to change the sentences in exercise one from the passive end to the active. Let's go back to exercise one. Look at exercise one here. A five day film festival was held by various prominent Arab filmmakers between 13 and 18th, uh, 18th April 2008. Here, this is a passive sentence. If I want to change it into an active, I, I start with the subject. Where is the subject? By, I delete by, various prominent Arab filmmakers, this is the subject. And here was held this uh, past simple passive. I delete was or were. I change the past participle into verb two. Various prominent Arab filmmakers held a five day film festival between 13th and 18th April 2008. Now, exercise number four, you are going to change. You are going to change 
the these things from the passive into the active. Please look at your students book and do exercise number four. Who can answer letter B? Letter B. A change into passive, sorry, a change into active. From passive into active, the opposite. Ziad Hatim. Uh, 16 filmmakers screened their films in three competitive uh, categories. Thank you. Nasr Ashkanani. Uh, Commentators, characters, them as characterize them as being thrilling and dramatic. Thank you, Abdullah Khalil. In charge the sprawling city space and of modern Kuwait, become six friends away from their family. Desert. Familiar desert. Familiar. Yes. So, in shark, the sprawling cityscapes of modern Kuwait City, big on six friends away from their familiar deserts. Thank you. Uh, Muhammad Osama. E. Yes, teacher. Uh, Submission. So, uh, so, uh, Boom. Bo Con, uh, con, uh, convic, uh, convey uh, the importance of music and uh, uh, human uh, is today word is very good symphonic poem conveys thank you Yusuf Sayyid uh, the success of the Arab filmmakers have been proven in the in the Gulf film festival very good have proved here present but Okay, Nigel Axel Shabagatina. You've got here sentences in the active. You are going to write the passive forms of these sentences. How will I mean active in the passive? Had the map be attended for the owl. You begin with the object and you have to define which tense is it. Use a correct verb to be and then we use the password as well. 16 filmmakers from Kuwait shared the spotlight at the festival. Begin with the spotlight. Ali Walid. The spotlight was shared by by sixteen filmmaker from Kuwait. Thank you, Ali. Okay, Mohammed Mahmoud. All the features, shorts, and documentaries represented life in the Arab world. Begin with life in the Arab world. Life, life in the Arab world was represented. In all the features, shorts, and and uh, thank you so much. Diverse films presented in the festival have offered a window into Arabic culture. Begin with a window into Arabic culture. Hamad Saleh. Yes, teacher. Uh, a window into Arabic culture was uh, afforded by the diverse films present, uh, presented in the festival. Hamad, Hamad, pay attention here. Have offered here present perfect. Uh, change the present perfect into passive. Was. How? No, Hamad. We use have or has plus been. Hamad, say it again. Uh, A window uh, into Arabic culture. Uh, has. Offered by the. Has. Has been offered. Has been offered. Yes, very good. Pay attention, Hamad. Okay, pay attention. Okay, next exercise here, you are going to do uh, these uh, sentences from active and passive. Here, newspapers, tours often use passive verbs. Like we saw in the video, when one of them is talking about the text under the text, and he is reading in the newspaper. So here, he uses what? He uses uh, the passive in informal language. He is reporting about his stolen bike. So we use the passive verbs in formal language rather than the active, the active what, the active voice. So in newspaper stories, we often use the passive verbs. You are going to change these sentences into passive. Pay attention to the underlined verbs. Don't forget to do this as uh, as homework. You can send it to me by WhatsApp uh, through uh, 
writing the answer for this question. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson. Until we meet again uh, next week, have a nice Thank weekend you, and goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you.